Yes, so pretty crazy few days. Um, we actually ended up, well, obviously Mark's still in London with Unorthodox, right? So ended up jumping on a call where he went to a new client's office for Unorthodox. It was uh, originally just a discovery meeting. See my washing in the background there. Um, it was originally just a discovery meeting that we had last week, but long story short, they invited us in to their office. Mark went there, I dialed in from here, Dubai. Um, and yeah, we, it was really, really good. So what ended up happening was they're basically running a campaign for the next three months and they need our help with different things, not just AI, you know, there is some element of just general marketing strategy and sort of CRM management, but they want us to set up CRMs, workflows. Uh, they want to use AI for like their short form content um, strategy that they're going to be running alongside this three month campaign. Um, and it should, in theory, turn into probably about eight to 10K of work, uh, which is solid, which is great. And the best part about it is this client was actually referred to us through, again, our big media company. So it just goes to show how valuable it is to build these different partnerships like we have. Honestly, I could show you the Airbnb right now. It's just like content studio. I'm filming VSLs. We're getting all that done. So backdrop there. The work desk is still over here. I've been skipping outside, doing some press ups. But to be honest, most of my time has just been spent, sat at this desk, creating content, jumping on calls, which is fun, but we are getting there. It's almost Friday. I'm gonna be doing these sort of like weekly updates with you guys and uh, I think they're gonna give you a lot of value. But yeah, all in all, that client should come through in the next few days and they're gonna start their initial payment. Obviously we have our productized service, they're gonna go for that, but they need it done a bit quicker. So we're doubling up the, the price for the first month and giving them access to two developers, two project managers, um, essentially doubling our productized service for that first month and then ongoing for two, three months after that, it will drop back down to our standard price. Our productized service is killing it right now. So many people are interested in it. So many people see the value in it. And we've kind of found the perfect formula along with our workshops to really provide a shit ton of value to every single client we bring in. If you did want to find out more about that, link in the description. El Shameless, Plagosos. But yes, back to work. Diana has been going through the email account for my YouTube as well. We get so many people hitting us up, like different tools and that kind of thing, asking to be, you know, coming into the network, giving out masterclasses. Um, so we are gonna start doing that for network members. You're gonna to start to get a lot more tool creators and builders coming in for, you know, uh, sort of masterclasses and different podcasts on the, on the YouTube channel as well. So stay tuned for that, should be exciting. I've got to put together some case studies for a new client proposal that we have next week. Um, this is the big client, you know, the, the 40, 50K client. So, They've now just wanted us to break down some different case studies of what we've done prior to this, as well as giving them sort of an insight in terms of what else can be done. They want to be wowed, basically. They want us to you know, walk into that meeting, showing them what we can do for them so that they get a really good idea of what that could look like over the coming months and what it could mean for their business. So that's something we're working on now for the next probably hour, and then we're hitting the gym. Got a workout class today here in Dubai, so that should be good. But other than that, this bit's boring. You probably won't want to see it. I'll show you once it's done. Let's jump into it. Oh yeah. Pre-gym lunch. Bit of fuel. I like it. Oh Jesus. Oh my God, Liam. Fuck. I wonder why that made a loud bang. Almost just crashed the car. Pretty cool. Um, the reason why I'm doing these, these vlog type videos is I feel like it's very beneficial for you guys to kind of see the reality of what goes on behind the scenes. I feel like people that are uploading on YouTube all the time and just filming themselves when they've got shit to say or shit's working and they've got some like high ground that they want to come from and teach you from. There's another one. Yeah, thank you. Just been warned there's another roadblock we just drove over this over this central line and we was dead in the middle like a fucking ski jump um but anyway yeah so i feel like everyone's got something to say and everyone's got something to teach you and it can get really fucking boring like i'm bored of seeing it i, I cannot stand watching even the videos that i create because it's like yeah they're helpful and they're beneficial but they come from a position that's kind of like not not really down to earth and uh, human like. So I'm gonna create these videos where you do just get to see behind the scenes. You get to see what's working, what's not. You get to see the internal struggles that we go through 
uh, at our agency and me personally. And I feel like that's uh, that's going to be valuable for you guys. You can see that you know, life and online business isn't all fun and games. Living in Dubai isn't all fucking glamour and supercars and fucking loads of money. It's uh, it's about hard work, doing shit that's painful, um, and that will be translated in these vlogs. And talking of pain, about to go to a hit cast now. We've got a 30 minute drive through the Burj, so we'll get some B-roll shots of what that's going to look like. But other than that. Let's get this workout in. It's cool, isn't it? Literally just finished this hit workout. I'm a fucking state. Look at me. Dying almost passed out. I feel fucked. It's time to go back home and work in my safe space. I want to talk about how important it is for you to actually understand and have knowledge when you're going into these client meetings and if you don't have it before going into these client meetings then your first meeting needs to be dedicated around collecting this knowledge now what do i mean by that well a lot of you are trying to uh, close business on something simple like a chatbot or automations and that's fine when you're just getting started but the reality is if you want to level up and you want to make the big bucks the way that you're going to be able to make money is by understanding the businesses that you're actually speaking to so for us it's all about workshopping it's all about doing the audits going through the right questions and you know we've been preaching this for six months and it's funny now to see other people talking about it but we've always spoken about having to run these audits and these ai audits and essentially get as much information out of every single lead and call that we have and if you don't do that then you're going to come into a big problem where you're not going to be able to put together an offer that's actually valuable for them so the calls are as beneficial for us as they are for the client in our case, if we have a workshop call, we've actually got one in like two hours time. What we're gonna do is we charge 2.2K a month regardless. So we now have an opportunity to understand more about this person's business so that instead of charging them 2K for a simple chatbot, which they know they want, we now get to find more stuff that we can build for them over a longer time frame. Maybe that's six months, maybe that's four months, maybe that's only two months, but we've made an extra 2.2K by doing this workshop because we have now dug into all of their systems, all of their processes, we know what's working, we, what, we know what's not, we know what's pissing them off and where their pain points are, and with that information, we can now start recommending other solutions that we know will help them and will help solve their problems. So we wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't have these workshops and we didn't have these sort of extensive audits that we run. Um, so what you really need to be focusing on is rather than becoming an expert at the service delivery and the different products that you can sell, you just need to become an expert at asking the right questions and digging information out of specific people. And this applies with no matter what business you're starting, this is the same. If, this is, if you're running a social media marketing agency or a short form content agency, you need to understand your clients so much that whatever it is you're offering them or however you package up your proposal, it becomes a no brainer for them to say yes because you've hit the nail on the head. You know exactly what they need, you know exactly what pain they have and you know the exact way of fixing it. So they don't really have anywhere to go from there. Um, so that's exactly what we do. And you know, I've spoken about it before in uh, last week's video, we started working with a company where they're looking to pay us anywhere from 40 to $50,000 for our services. And they're not doing the product type service, they're looking at something a little bit more bespoke and custom. And the way that we've set that up is by running multiple workshops with different members of staff, you know, different C-suite members. By doing that, we've been able to build like the most ridiculous service solution timeline where they're super excited about it now because they know that we're stepping in as like a partner who actually understands their business. And we also know that they're not gonna say no to this, no matter what we charge, because we know what fixing X, Y, and Z is actually gonna be valued at and how much time it can save that specific business. So look, that's kind of like my my rant. I was gonna call these, these talks like diary of a yapper because a few of you guys have been like, oh, this guy just fucking yaps. And you're right, I do just yap and I enjoy yapping. So if you like me yapping, let me know down below in the comments as well. But look, I, on a real one, I do feel like these, these yaps can be beneficial to you. Um, 
and can actually help you unlock data sets that you maybe never knew you needed. And that, that's my plan, right? That's, that's my goal with the YouTube channel, to provide as much value to you guys as possible, to make it simple and make it relatively easy for you to know how to build an agency. Although it's not an easy business model, it's not something you can do to get rich overnight, I don't think it has to be as confusing as a lot of people make it out to be. Um, I like this backdrop, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? There you go. But in terms of how we structure our, our uh, workshops, we do it all through Miro. We just have a simple Miro board that has, uh, you know, I'll, sh I'll even show you, I'll pull it up on my computer. Bear with me. There you go. It, it really is as simple as this, you know, understanding new clients, some post-it notes, it's collaborative, pains and gains, possible solutions, current actions, risk of not acting, priorities, what is the short-term and long-term priorities of the business? And we have a bunch of post-it notes that we can drag in and write comments on. And we do that, we do that live with the client. So it's, it's, it's super interactive, right? And uh, we all collaborate on this and we go through it together, which is the goal at the end of the day. Yes, people, coming out for the daily walk. We like to get an hour in between calls and uh, Keeps the, keeps the legs moving, you know, keeps us young inside. Um, but just jumped off of a consulting call with a guy called Rodrigo, who's currently in systems inside of the network. Really fucking cool guy. He's uh, focused on a lot of good stuff right now. Currently doing around six and a half K per month in his agency. Um, so he's absolutely killing it. But he's come into a few problems now where he's, uh, he's starting to struggle in that he's having so many conversations with people and landing so many new clients um, and got so many tasks at hand that it's currently just him doing it all. So he's completely lost in terms of how to delegate them tasks out and how to best manage his time. And that's the only thing holding him back from probably going to 10K per month at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's where we've stepped in. We now need to get him set up on a Trello board and this is what you need to do. You need to plan everything out. You need to see exactly what conversations you're having. You need to track everything inside of your agency and that is gonna help you actually start to manage these clients and land more clients. And it just becomes a way easier task to manage compared to if you, if you don't have it, right? So just something to consider. I'm gonna go enjoy my walk now. Then we have a masterclass in a few hours for the network. Bye-bye. Cool, we're back from the walk now. I'm about to jump on another consulting call with another systems member, um, a guy called Todd another cool guy so gonna be going through whatever he needs help with at the moment then we have our masterclass and try to fit dinner in between that as well but man I'm recovering from that fucking workout that I did earlier on my legs are destroyed I feel fried I feel like a fucking newborn baby that's just come out of the fresh womb um, it's not great boys and girls but anyway we move and we carry on I've got about six minutes till this call but I just want to reiterate the point that I was making with Rodrigo is that if you don't start to build internal systems for your Look at that backdrop. Am I in a movie right now? I could be. But look, if you don't start to build systems for your own internal agency, you have no clue how to actually assess and help others build their systems too. And that is what our entire business model is built upon, made upon, right? We, we step into businesses, we help them build their systems, and we help elevate their business and then make more money with these new systems that we build for them. So if you're stuck, if you're confused, if you don't know how to manage the clients that you're bringing in or the calls you're having or the conversations you're having even, start to write everything down. Build, build SOPs, standard operating procedures, put it in a Word doc, put it on a mirror board, do whatever you can to lay it out in front of you and make it easy for you to follow. Create yourself like a manual, a guide. That is all you need to do. And that is the advice I gave Rodrigo and it's gonna be the advice that I give a lot of people inside of the masterclass tonight. Um, you know, with, with Unorthodox, we've had to spend months, six months, one year, building out these different systems and reiterating them as and when we test them and get more data. And that is exactly what you guys need to be doing. You need to be religiously hunting for ways to build your own efficiencies inside of your business. Otherwise, all these different conversations you have and all these clients are just up in the air. They're in the ether. You don't have any structure. You don't have any idea on who you need to follow up with or who needs to do certain tasks or who needs to you know, be delivered or, or where you need to deliver a project or whatever it is. So yeah, use Trello, use Miro, use a pen and paper. I bought the, um, the what's it called? The Remarkable, which is like the, the digital notebook. That shit's been a game changer. I can wake up in the morning now and have a list of notes of things that I need to get focused on. So make it easy for yourself, guys. If you're lost, if you're confused, 
that is the reason why that has probably been one of the most revolutionary things that we've done inside of our agency and we continue to do and continue to get better at every single day but anyway i've rambled on for three minutes there so i'm gonna have to jump in on this call and i'll catch you after maybe i'll show you what i'm eating for dinner um, and then uh, we'll jump onto the masterclass together and uh, give you some insights after that but yeah, let me know if you're enjoying these type of vlog videos as well, because I definitely think this is going to be like a, a weekly staple for the channel moving forward. I really enjoy doing them, and I think it's super cool to be able to look back and just document our entire process and journey, um, as well as helping you guys along the way escape the jobs that you hate, making money so you can look after your family, go on holidays, do whatever you want to do in life, which you rightfully should be able to do because one day we're all going to be dead and no one's going to remember us, so you might as well make it count. But anyway off to this consulting call now. I'll catch you in a bit. A good example is the dental clinic that we work with. That was their big problem. They was like, oh, it, is it weird that people are gonna be you know, speaking to AI? Are they not gonna like that? And we've now just basically stripped out all the time that the reception desk has needed to be spent on the phone to just having the answers being answered on the website straight away. All of that information being stored, transcripts being sent over. And now that dental clinic just gets to spend time with patients walking through the door. So it's like there's no need for them to be sitting on the calls answering basic FAQs that could have been done through a chatbot. So that's like a really, really basic level automation and sort of AI agent that we've done for them. Uh, do you want me to send you over the, the voice load template for that, by the way, right now? Sure. Yeah, I think what you need is now just some validation that you're in the right place and you're focusing on the right things. So that we now need to just start working with people. We need to have these conversations, right? We need to run the outreach, but at the same time be proactive in just opening up these conversations, like I said. Okay, cool. That is my consulting call done with Todd. Todd is such a legend. He's gonna be killing it in the next couple of months. He's a very driven guy and it's uh, been great to work with him. But yeah, that is the last one-on-one -on -one consulting call for the day. Um, now we're moving into the weekly group coaching masterclass that we have inside of the network. Guys, you guys are missing out. If you're not part of the network and you're not involved in what we're doing over there and how we're helping people, you are missing out big time. So I'm excited for this. This is one of my favorite times of the week where we all just get to sit together in like a, a round table setting, speaking about what's working, speaking about what's not, giving advice. I think I'm really gonna put a heavy emphasis on you know, ensuring that you focus on building out these internal systems for your own agency, tracking everything you do every single day so that when you wake up in the morning, you know exactly what needs to be done and how to do it. But guys, it's been a long one. Uh, these last few weeks have honestly been so tiring for me. I'm literally like dead, in, dead inside. I've been waking up with cramps. I've been working out a lot, but yeah, I just feel like I'm getting fatigued very easily. And that's probably due to the fact that I'm working super late, not really resting. Um, and that is another thing that you need to make sure you're doing. You need to make sure you're taking a break, you're giving yourself time to think and go through things and actually execute at a high level because starting a business is not easy. Starting an agency isn't easy. You know that if you're already doing it, it's not that simple. You can't just watch a few YouTube videos and follow along. You just need to be able to execute at a high level and know what you're doing every single day. So yeah, for me, we've got a few things coming up. I'm moving flats again tomorrow. So we're gonna be leaving this view behind, which I'm super sad about, man. I promise this is the last time I'll show you it, but this is Dubai. Very, very cool. I'm so glad to be here. Um, but yeah, this, this city just makes you wanna work, work, work. and. Uh, that can be pretty dangerous. But I'm actually flying back to the UK soon. My, uh, my granddad died, unfortunately. Um, so I'll be going back to the UK for his funeral in the next couple of weeks. That guy, for me, was m one of the biggest motivators when it comes to just money and uh, making money online. I'd give him a call whenever something would go well or we made a certain amount of money and he would just like almost cry in just like sheer, like, sheer excitement of not knowing how the fuck I did it. It'd be like, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it, what you do, but you, you always fucking manage it. And um, yeah, super sad to, to leave someone like that in my life, but it is what it is. That's life. That's why you got to work hard and uh, make sure you're there for your, make sure you're there to be able to afford to go back home. Most people couldn't even do that. They're not in a position to just drop, you know, 1500 pound on some flights to go back for a funeral for a few weeks. But luckily, We've worked hard enough that we are, and uh, that is gonna be coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I'll be bringing you all back to London with me. We can reminisce, we can go look at the house that I used to live in and uh, pretend I'm back in there filming my YouTube videos. But for now, I'm gonna go eat some dinner and get ready for this next masterclass. 
it's been a long one. Another cheat code to life is getting yourself a girlfriend that cooks for you. My girlfriend cooks me breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and she's done that every single day for the past five years of my life. Actually, no, seven years, sorry. Um, and this is the reason why I get to work so hard, because I don't have to worry about cooking, which is the biggest pain in the ass to any adult, in my opinion. But yeah, I'm gonna eat. Marcus, how are we doing? Good man, it's been a busy afternoon. Are you well? I'm very well. I just saw the email come in. Looks like we are a go. Yeah, yeah, it's all locked in. They're, um, so they're going to pay on Monday, but they want to schedule a call for Wednesday morning, so I put it in. Sick. All right, nice one. That should probably be, what, 3K up front and then uh, a good couple of months, maybe even three months with the 2K. So maybe, yeah. maybe yeah, nine, think, yeah. nine grand all up. Yeah, should be, should be. Solid, happy mate. Happy with that. I'm very happy with that as well. That's what I like to hear. Perfect. That ticks off the week. That that completes everything, didn't it? I've got 15 minutes until this masterclass, so I thought I'd just give you a ring just to, uh, yeah, confirm. Because I saw that email come through. Didn't know if you had any more conversation with them. Yeah, no, no, it's all man. Yeah, I've had. Uh, I've got. It. I've got him on WhatsApp now, so he's very keen. And I look back over that, and I think it's not too, not too strenuous if we make a good. Good strong start at it, there so that's are. good. Oh, um, nice one. Yeah, I, I've, I've got another one in after 10 minutes as well. Um, potentially, did you see my note about this this ex-footballer? Well, he messaged me about it. Oh, okay. But, but what's the deal for us? So I call with him this morning. If he takes on that role, then he wants to basically bring us in to build them CRM and automations and... Um, all, all, all that stuff. So Sick. it's another two two fifty if we want it. Sick. All right. Well, do you want two two fifty? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Stack them up. No, this is the Good this finish. has been the best call. I've actually been filming this on the uh, camera for the vlog. So uh, this has been like the perfect thing. It looks like it's been planned. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. I won't mention names. I'll bleep them out. But um, solid. Sick. So that's. Uh... That's another cracker. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not the dream response, but um, it, it is a response. And I think I, I've, I've framed it pretty well. Did he CC me in or not? That's a good question. Just doing, adding the final touches today. and um, So you said uh, you got a couple of clients in the bag, a couple of calls lined up. But from that, you know, I've had, I've sent people videos like, oh, okay, uh, let's hop on a call. So. Uh, it definitely does work. I had a chat with someone today and he's like, I've got I've got clients, I'm making money, but I'm just so lost because I wake up in the morning and not knowing like where I even need to start or who, where I need to prioritize my time. And I feel like if you're in that position, structuring that out on a Trello board and just writing stuff down is literally the game changer. But it sounds like you're, yeah. you're halfway there. Yeah. His customer service is a complete mess and he's really, really uh, eager to get a solution for that. And basically what I'm doing is like what you just advised to uh, Matt, actually. I'm actually in that process right now. Let's go again. And yeah, so I'm actually I'm like trying to come up with uh, solutions and uh, hopefully next week make a proposal and pr yeah, actually present something to him what I can offer him and I can mean for him. Yeah. Have you, have you sent that proposal in the one-on-one -on -one chat? Or well, not the proposal, the survey results? Is that something you can share yeah, with Yeah, it's, it's everything, it's in my success channel. Okay, cool, I'll jump on that, let's have a look. Yeah, it's really good. But yeah, yeah, the only reason I say it is obviously, if people are sat here on this call being like, why haven't I landed a client yet? The easiest thing to do is literally just go and message 50 people a day manually, and actually like yeah. pick and choose the people you're trying to reach out to. Do that for a month, yes, it's gonna be painful, yes, it's gonna be boring, yes, it's gonna be long, but you will get results, you will land a client. Like if, you, yeah, if your messaging yeah. is right and you're actually putting in the time, it, that's it. That's why there's 15 year old kids out there smashing it because they just sit there all day long doing it. They're so hungry to make 500 bucks that they, they will do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you've got to look at how long it's going to take you, what the value is to that client um, and what the long tail benefits are as well. If over the year they're going to make an extra 100, 200K based on you know some data that you have, then that chatbot is worth significantly more. And it's all about how you position yeah. that to them. But yeah, nice man. It's positive though. Cool, masterclass done. So that masterclass was great because we're now getting to the point where people are starting to land clients. They're starting to book in calls. They're starting to ask the questions that 
people only really ask once they really start to understand this model. So super happy for everyone inside of the network, super happy for everyone that jumps on these classes. I have a lot of fun, spend about an hour, an hour and a half chatting to you guys and just going around the room, finding out what's working. And by that, you get to kind of learn by proxy, hearing other people's stories, um, and just naturally you start to pick up on different things. But yeah, that is it. It is now 10.18, that was the last work thing of the day. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap it all up here. It's been a pretty hectic day. It's been a pretty crazy week, to be honest. And it's now all slowly coming to an end. So tomorrow is moving day. I probably will bring you on a little bit of that. Maybe that's for next week's vlog. But for me, that is it. If you wanna learn how to build your AI agency, click the link in the description of the video. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Good night.